Good morning. Good morning, good morning. It has been a while. Let me turn this down just a smidge. Cool. <clears throat> is that good? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, so it's, it's been a little bit. Uh, it's been taking a little bit of a break from uh, from streaming and uh, just most things. Um, a little bit busy also, but uh, just taking a break. Kind of working on something too. I was like planning on like having something completed to then make a video for it. Uh, but that's in the works. So that, that was kind of like the, the timing was, was, was not proper, but uh, uh, we're getting there. I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it, but I'm, I'm working on something, but uh, I just need to be able to actually do it. That's the only hint I'll give. Uh, once I can actually do it, I can then make the video because I had done it and then I have the video of me doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, let me just do this really quick since, you know, uh, Runelay always black screens. All right. Let's, uh, I was in the middle of a quest last night, and, uh, we're gonna continue doing that quest. Put this up just a smidge, just a little bit more, there we go. Alright. There we go. Alright, yeah, we're doing Hazil Cult Quest. And I'm in my, uh, my Hugh Dallas. Uh, questing attire. This is uh, this is exactly it. This is the drip, the drip of all drip, and we're off. But really, like where I was at, right there at uh, Sears Village, was um, I've just been training agility like a motherfucker, dude. I, I I was down at when I first started doing it. I was at like 57 agility and I'm up to 66 right now and it's been a it's been a grind man let me tell you but uh we're getting close because uh, as soon as we get to level 70 agility we can do um Sarah Doman as a boss and that's a lot of money that we can start making so we're definitely definitely trying to grind for that it's just it's just tough it's tough all right let's turn this bitch left let's see uh, you turn the large metal valve to the left. Beneath your feet, you can hear the sudden sound of rushing water from the sewer. Caves to direct the underground water. West of the clock tower? Wouldn't this be this to the right, right? Where's the clock tower? Isn't the clock tower down here? That's Watchtower, okay. I think that's right. I mean, this is west, though. This is like the west one, like. Let's, uh, let's try turning it to the right. Okay, yep, that was the one. Let's try turning this to the left here. Let's try turning this one to the right then. Okay. Should be it then, yeah. Turn the valve next to the zoo to the right. All right. Dude, sometimes rune light confuses me. Even though, like, it's, like, stupid pr proof, you know? I'm still stupid enough for it to confuse me sometimes. To the right. Return to Clive it. Yeah, I chose I chose to fuck with the cult, dude, because it sounds like uh, the people living in that castle, you know, based on what he was saying, they're not they, they shouldn't be, and they're a bunch of rich little fucks, and we don't we don't fuck with the rich people, dude. The raft washes up on the sewer past the island until it reaches the end of the sewer passage. Nice. Oh yeah, we're about to finish this bitch big time. 
Talk to Alimony. What's up, bruh? Well, well, so we have a new recruit. Clavit told me your desire to join us in our glorious task to resurrect the mighty Hazil from his slumber. To accomplish this require the ancient words of summoning, which will restore his shattered body so that he can bring vengeance upon his enemies. Hazil and his mighty cunning anticipated that he might be defeated and seceded from his home, somewhere a powerful magical scroll that could restore him. The words to this powerful enchantment are hidden within the Carneal Mansion, right under the noses of his unsuspecting foes. We already have an agent in place there. In their butler, Jones, a faithful follower to his zeal. His loyalty to his zeal is beyond question. Yet he has been unsuccessful in locating the scroll containing the spell so far. Go back to the mansion and assist us in finding the enchanted enchantment so that together we can res restore his zeal to its true power and glory. Right on, brother. I got you. What? Search a crate? Oh, okay, okay, okay. You just get me over there, brother. Just get your boy over there. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Search a crate under various food packages, you find an old rusty key. Nice, got that key, bitch. Let's go. And I just so happen to know exactly where the secret location that nobody can find is. That's right. Found the secret passage so easily. The butler who fucking goes in this house every single day and does exactly what we're supposed to do every single day. He couldn't find it, but me. Being my first time in there, found it immediately. There we go, found the scroll. That butler's a fucking loser, dude. You see how easy it was for me? I just knock on this false wall, dude. Right in front of him, too. Serral fucking Carnelian, dude. This is gonna be your downfall, brother. Alright, talk to fucking my dude right here. Be like, hey, that butler's a piece of shit. Hey, have you brought me the scroll of restoration to complete the ritual? Yep, got it right here, fam. Finally, quickly, get, give it to me and I will begin the ritual. Alright, dude, this is the cutscene. Yes, yes! With the words contained within the scroll, our lord shall return to this realm and bring destruction to our enemies. Watch, adventurer. It witnessed the glorious rebirth of Hazil. Lord Hazil, Lord Zamorak, I call upon powers of evil, the forces of chaos, the strength of hatred. I'm not gonna. Uh, sen sentente, celebrity, junk, dithmento, I I. Dextramon, Encanto, Termando, Encanto, Salienti, Rando, Sententi, I, I, Indenti, Zagareti, Garatha, what the fuck? Bunch of shit just started flying around my house. Alimony continues to recite the scroll. It is a language you have never heard and do not understand at all. Okay, yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We heard screams from the coffin. Look at this little bitch. My loyal followers. I pride in you all. Never did I expect to return to this land. I see I have much to attend to. Soon this world will cower once before at the name of Hazil, and my fury will blaze across mine enemies, just as my loyal followers gain their reward. Adventurer, I know that thy efforts were principal in my return to the plane of existence. I offer you my thanks directly. You may not be a follower of Zamrak directly, but your cunning and treachery mark you as a friend to the, the Majorat. Rest assured, I will call on you assisting again. 
Weak as I am now, my strength shall return, and my followers will be greatly rewarded with my power peak once more. Join me in my cause as my servant and all. The riches of this land shall be yours to share in domination over all our... P p p p oppose my kind. You would be wise to pledge yourself now while you miss. I serve nobody but myself. Bam! Hugh Dallas, bitch. You're insolent. Whatever. Fuck, I didn't mean to hit press space bar. Although your true reward will be later when Zamrak and I together lay waste to this miserable planet and you are spared as an ally to us. His heel gives you some coins that seem to be extremely ancient. And now, I must leave you loyal subjects for time is short and I have m many pressing matters to address. Before I may make my return, I must leave now and head northwards to join my fellow Majorat and regain my strength and powers. I shall return when I am ready to fight the en my enemies and much blood shall flow across these lands. The cultists let out a mighty cheer. Huzzah, huzzah, bitch. There it is. This guy thought he was doing me a favor by giving me 2,000 coins. He doesn't know I'm fucking loaded, dude. What a pussy. And he tried to step to me, dude. Like, he was just like, oh, like fucking bow down. And Hugh Dallas was just like, you fucking Dallas, bitch. That's right. All right. Let's pick another one, shall we? Let's just go ahead and just grab another quest really quick. King's Ransom. I feel like I should have done this already. Actually, no, I just unlocked it because it's one small favor I just did. And Murder Mystery, actually, yeah, because I, I hadn't done that until uh, recently, too, because I just never got around to it. King's Ransom. Let's see, uh, let's see if it's, like, King's Ransom. If it's, like, a super long quest or something, we won't, we don't want to do it. At this moment, we don't want to do it. Medium? Fuck it. What do we get for doing it? Let's just skip to the bottom here. Ooh, a fuck ton of defense. Whoa. Cool. Let's do it. King's Ransom. Let's go. All right. Let's fucking skiddly woe over to, to Varrock and the, and the GE. We get what we got to get. Talk to gossip just south of Sinclair Mansion. Am I at the f I'm, I'm assuming I'm at to fight somebody, right? Uh, no, no enemies to defeat. Okay. Cool. Just need to, all the stuff I need. A full black armor set. Interesting. I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away. Get my riches out. That stack's getting a little low, man. I had it up to like 8 mil at one point. All right, so we need uh, granite. I swear to God, don't I have? Gra I have granite, don't I? Any granite? I mean, I got them all, but do I have to? Does this? Does that work? No. Is it? Is it like a piece of granite? That's probably a piece of granite. Oh, like any granite. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, there we go. Alright, cool, yep. I think I've got a couple pieces of, of, of black armor. No, I don't. Okay. What about iron chain body? No, I don't got that either. Not that it matters. Okay. Black full helm. Black plate body. Come on now. When Hugh Dallas wants something, Hugh Dallas gets something. Come on now. Make it fucking 5,000. Hugh Dallas don't care. There it is. All right, black plate legs. Bronze med helm. There we go. Yeah, 
An iron chain body. There she blows, baby. All right, so we need to get the Edgeville, Ardoin, and Camelot. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a. I'm pretty sure it's Glory, right? That'll get me to Edgeville, right? Let's double check. Yeah. Okay. Um, runes for telekinetic grab or a lock pick. Um, we're definitely gonna do the telekinetic grab. Hugh Dallas. Okay. Let's go ahead and see where we gotta go here. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, yep. Right down the Sears Village and straight north. Hugh Dallas. All right, let's go. What do you say, gossip? What's up, dude? Oh, I remember you. You're the one that discovered Lord Sinclair's murderer. Well, I can tell you strange things are afoot once again. Really, what happened? Well, you didn't hear it from me. I've heard the Sinclair family have vamoosed just up and left the mansion. You mean they let the murderer get away? Of course not. Anna's, safety locked in, Anna's safely locked in Sears Village Jail. She'll be, going to, she'll be going to trial soon, so I've heard. Anna? Is that who they arrested? I thought... Never mind. Yes, the guards received evidence from one of the family members that conclusively proved Anna did it. All other evidence was thrown out. It was that good. So they arrested her and soon the case will be uh, go to court. So why is it a big deal that the Sinclairs have left then? Maybe they wanted to get away from the memory of their father's death. Well, it wouldn't be suspicious at all, but King Arthur has also disappeared. No one has seen him more than knights in quite a while. Quite a coincidence, don't you think? Yes. Yes, it is. You didn't hear it from me, but I'll believe that guard in the garden is also investigating it. He might be able to tell you more. All right. What's up? What's up, playboy? What you got? Good day, Hugh Dallas. I'm afraid we meet under strange circumstances again. So I have heard. The town gossip informed me that something was amiss. Come to offer my assistance. Finally, that man serves a purpose. I'm glad to have your help. I'm baffled again, and my hands are tied. The Sinclairs have disappeared, though. I'm not sorry to see them go, but what worries me is the disappearance of King Arthur and his knights around the same time. They haven't returned to their other realm, have they? No. There's no evidence to suggest that. It never sat well with the Sinclair children when their old man gave the castle to King Arthur and moved the family to this mansion. I suspect the murderer of old Sinclair was just the first step in a deeper plot to retake their birthright. How goes the investigation and what evidence have you gathered so far? That's the problem. The Sears Village Council has forbidden the guards from breaking into Camelot or the Sinclair Mansion for further investigation. They claim it's a breach of privacy or something like that. My, suspicious, my suspicions mean nothing without proof to back them up, but I can't get proof without losing my job. Which is why you're happy to see me, right? A rogue party to break into the mansion and investigate further without the fear of losing their jobs because I'm Hugh fucking Dallas. Exactly. I'm sure you'll manage to find a way into the house. Absolutely, I will, dude. I'll fucking kick that shit down, brother. With the quickness. Slightly window could be a shiner. Okay, yeah, fucking break that shit. Kapow! Nice, dude. Pop that little little door open. Criminal's knife. I'll just take that. Can I take the flimsy dagger? The guards will need it as evidence. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Tampering with evidence already. Hobbs apparently just doesn't, doesn't care that Hugh Dallas comes in here. He's cool with it. I understand that. Definitely understand that. Scrap paper. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Address form. Okay. Nobody else could crack this case but Hugh Dallas, dude. Search his bookshelf, dude. Search the bookcase. Uh, okay, I could have just gotten this all from... I didn't have to buy this from the G. Seems very out of place in the Sinclair Manor. That's right, it does, dude. 
Why would somebody as rich as the Sinclairs have a black full helm when they could have rune? Or a dragon? Step out the window, okay. Can I just like, if I break the window, just have me come back out? Okay, yes it does. All right, let's go talk to the guard. Any luck getting into the mansion? Did you get some evidence? Um, hmm. I have proof that links the Sinclairs to Camelot. You present the guard with a scrap of paper. Ah, they've gone to the desert. They're meeting up with a camel. No, it's not camel, like the animal. The note isn't whole. They were writing the word Camelot. They were meeting at Camelot. This is our evidence to connect the Sinclairs to King Arthur. All oh, right. Well, it connects them to King Arthur, but it doesn't prove that they had any bad intent towards him. For all we know, they were going to a party. Fucking idiot. This guy's so stupid. I have proof of foul play. You present the guard with a black full hem. Hmm. The armor resembles black knight armor. The only black knights on the side of the White Wolf Mountain are those that work for M Morgan Le, Le Fay. Morgan Le Fay. And we know Morgan Le Fay has a history of harassing Merlin and King Arthur. Since there is no sign of a struggle inside the St. Clair Mansion, we can only assume that the knights were there by request. Oh, right. With this evidence and the note you brought me, we know they had intentions to do harm to King Arthur. Okay. One more. We got one more thing. I have proof the St. Clairs have left. A form. What does this prove? Don't you see? The St. Clairs have left for good. They per premeditated their departure from the mansion. Ah, of course. And we know where they've gone because the note about the camel. Thank you, Hudalis. We have all the proof we need to present to the Sears Village Council that something suspicious is going on. They'll review the evidence and hopefully give me permission to take a team to Camelot. It shouldn't be too difficult to get to the bottom of this. When do you expect to go to Camelot? Perhaps I could assist you. Oh, the Sears Village Council convenes in a month or so. I'll pre present it to them. No doubt they'll want a few days to review the evidence. We'll go sometime after that. If none of the other guards are on holiday, there are only four of us. Of course. What? A month or more? King Arthur could be in a grave in grave danger. Morgan Le Fay is involved, and she is not only to be she's not to be trifled with. One of the Sinclairs has already committed murder. Who's to say another won't? And you're going to wait a month, you fucking idiot! I have to follow procedure. My hands are tied. Not Hugh Dallas's hands. However, we're a rogue adventurer to take the matters into their own hands. Well, if I were him, I would learn as much as I can about the Sinclair family history. Well, often the best historians are the top gossips. Let's start there. Good luck. Yep, go talk to fucking gossip again. Wait, what do you say, gossip? Hello again. Can you tell me about the Sinclair family history? Their history? Oh, what a lurid tale that is. Why, I, I could go on for hours. Well, I don't really have hours. Can you condense it? Well, I suppose. What do you want to know? Oh, all three chat options, huh? Tell me about that family. I've heard plenty about each of them, but I'll try to keep it short as I can. Old Lord Sinclair was a well-respected man this side of the White Wolf. He was great friends with King Ulfus and did many good works for the kingdom. His children, on the other hand, were spoiled and horrid. They cared for no one but themselves and gave themselves such airs. Each had their own vice. What the hell? But didn't expect... Sorry, hang on. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but didn't expect any of them would be driven to murder. What have they been up to since the arrest of their siblings? They've been living very quietly. A nice change from the norm, but almost too quietly. I always thought they'd get into more trouble. No good will come from them, let me tell you. Tell me about that mansion, bro. What's in that mansion? The mansion? The mansion is quiet now. Originally, the Sinclair family lived in Camelot, although it went under a different name then. But when King Arthur and his knights appeared, old Lord Sinclair agreed with King Ulthus that the knights had greater need for the castle than the Sinclair family. So Lord Sinclair had the mansion built, packed his family up, and vacated. His children were furious with him doing it. They felt themselves far better than the knights and felt insulted at having to live in a stuffy mansion with a bunch of punk-ass pores. What happened next? Well, you know, you know best. Anna killed her father. Poor man. Tell me about Anna Sinclair. Anna? The guards are keeping her in a jail in the courthouse in Sears Village. I can, I can hear she's been acting like a royal pain. Well, what is she like? Can she be reasoned with? Reasoned with? She killed her own father, Hugh Dallas. 
I hear she's being so unreasonable that no lawyer in Gelinor will represent her. She's going to get a guilty verdict for sure. Still, I go and visit her on the series of courthouse sometimes and try to keep her in spirits up. But that's just me. Go to Anna. Tell her that she's a punk-ass narc. All right, let's see. Yep, we've got the power to just be like, and fucking just teleport right over there, dude. Why walk when you're Hugh Dallas? Let's go. In this courthouse, dude. Let's go see this this lady. Let her know that Hugh Dallas is on the case. Oh, Anna looks stressed, dude. Hello, do you remember me? Hmm, yes. You were that nosy person asking all those questions about daddy's murder. Oh, so he's daddy now, is he? If he was so dear to you, why did you kill him? I didn't. No one believed me. It was my brother. He set me up. But there's hard evidence against you. It's forged, I swear. I never touched that dagger or poisoned my father. I didn't come here to just chit-chat. I need to know where your family has disappeared to. I have suspicions. They have reclaimed Camelot. How should I know? I've been locked up here since you stuck your nose in our family's business, you fucking idiot. Well, I'll be off then. Have fun spending the rest of your life in jail, bitch. Wait! I... I might know how to find them, but I need a favor from you in return. Name your price. I need a defense lawyer. None of the ones around here will represent me. They, they all think I'm guilty. Maybe it's because you are guilty. Your sibling offered hard proof you did it. No, he didn't. He just said he saw me in the room. Why does everyone believe him? Can you see he's framed me? I was a scapegoat so they could all inherit their fortunes and live the good life. Ooh, I hate rich people, dude. Let's go. Why should I believe you? As far as I know, you did kill your father. I don't care if you don't believe me. I know I'm innocent, but I'm also the one that can show you how to get into Camelot. There's a secret passage that I discovered as a child when we lived there. So, if I agree to get you a not guilty verdict at a trial, you promise to tell me how to get into the secret passage that will lead me straight into Camelot. Yes, exactly. So what do you say? I'll fucking lawyer up right now, dude. Bunch of rich fucks trying to inherit daddy's money? Come on, dude. I'll, I'll take that case pro bono. He Dallas will fucking tip his hat to that. Okay, I guess I don't have much of a choice. I'll go start gathering evidence. Try speaking to the servants of the mansion. They'll probably be able to give you useful testimony. Wait, take this. She hands you a thread. You can use it as evidence. Of what? Your guilt? No. Show it to, your, show it to the servants. She'll find one of my siblings wears similar colors. Ooh. Go down the stairs of the courtroom, okay? Oh, okay, so like, uh, probably because I already talked to the people, so I already know what's up. They have court downstairs? Oh, all right, let's see, what's up, dude? What do you got? Oh, nice, I am representing her, dude. Best lawyer in fucking Galenor, dude, what's up? This trial is to determine the guilt or innocence of Anna Sinclair for the murder of Lord Sinclair. Is the prosecution ready? The prosecution is ready, your honor. Is the defense ready? I'm fucking ready, dude. Step to me. I got those fucking hard facts, baby. Very well. The prosecution may present its case. Thank you, Your Honor. Members of the jury, I'm going to present you with evidence that de decisively proves Anna Sinclair is a murderer. First, the dagger. The dagger was found stabbed into Lord Sinclair's body. It has the fingerprints of Anna Sinclair all over it. The prosecution presents the dagger as evidence. Second, the thread. This thread was found at the scene of the crime. It matches Anna Sinclair's clothes. Last but certainly not least, the poison that actually killed Lord Sinclair, it was found at the scene of the crime, it has been brought by the defendant. Members of the jury, this woman is fucking guilty. The prosecution presents the poison as evidence. Thank you, prosecutor. Defense, as this is your first time in court, I'm going to explain how, how to do things around here. You may call for a recess at any time by leaving through the gate behind you. You'll have to start the trial over when you return. You may call witnesses by speaking to them when you're finished with a, with a witness. Simply speak to me and call the next one. Your job is to disprove the evidence presented by the prosecution by having your witness testify. If you need to hear the prosecution case again, just speak to him. Let's begin. Who would you like to call as a witness? The defense calls the Sinclair's dog handler, your honor, your mighty your honor. Ooh, look at this fella. Dude, please put my hands behind my back and pace. That's what we need to do right now. No, 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 no. Let me talk to the fucking Pierre, dude. I don't even talk to you. What's your name and occupation, sir? Pierre. I'm the dog handler. Okay. What can you tell me about the poison? The poison salesman came around the mansion and practically everyone bought some. 
Can you tell me exactly who bought poison from him? Each of the Sinclair kids did. They all had chores they weren't meant to do. I had a chat with the salesman. Oh boy. You any idea how strong that stuff was? Just a small amount would be enough to kill a cow. So only a small amount of poison would be enough to kill a man, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose it would. Hmm. Interesting. Therefore, any one of the Sinclairs who bought poison could have done their chores and poisoned Lord Sinclair as well. Just because my client was too lazy to do her chores doesn't mean she poisoned Lord Sinclair. Hmm, that seems likely, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. Order! Order my fucking court, you pieces of shit! Talk to the judge to call the butler. Let me talk to this guy. Alright, dude. We want the butler in here, dude. I call the Sinclair's butler to the stand, your honor. There he is. There he is. Alright. Alright, Hobbs. Okay. Okay. What's your name and occupation? Hobbs, I am the butler. Okay. Okay. Now, Mr. Hobbs, tell me. Did you ever see Anna in possession of the dagger that was found embedded in Lord Sinclair's body? No, I, I only saw Lord Sinclair handle it. It was on display in the library. No one else ever touched it? Well, now that you have me thinking about it, I believe I saw Frank handle it once. Not really sure what he was doing with it, but I do remember him looking at it. You were saying, under oath of Guthix, that you saw someone other than Anna handle the dagger? Yes, I am. Not only has a person other than my client been identified handling the weapon, but the dagger was within easy access to anyone in that household. My client's fingerprints could have been placed on it by another party. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, that's right. Order! Order in this bitch, I'm the fucking judge, baby. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, who else would I like to call to the stand? Your Honor, I'd like to call the maid to the stand. That's right. That's right. Let's get some information. Mary, if that is your name. What's your name and occupation? Mary. I'm the maid. Okay. Okay. Where did you last see Anna on that faithful night, Mary? I was in the kitchen with Hobbs and Louisa helping with dinner. They gave me Lord Sinclair's meal. I went to deliver it and I found him. What about on the way to the study? Did you see Anna? No, I didn't pass Anna. I'm sure of that. I think I passed one of the other young Sinclairs, though. A man. Really? So you can't place Anna at the murder scene. But there was a man there. David, Bob, or Frank? I can't remember. I just remember it being a man. Fucking man, dude. Indeed. Well, if my client can't be placed at the murder scene, and there is evidence that a man was there, I think it's cast a great deal of doubt on the case, wouldn't you think? Oh, man, yeah, that seems logical. Yeah, yeah. Order! Order in the fucking court! Can you tell us who this thread belongs to? That thread could be Anna's or David's. Almost all their clothes were of all the same color. It made, it made doing laundry a nightmare. So you can't say for certain who this thread belongs to. No, not for certain. Not only can you not identify exactly who this thread came from, but you also state that almost all their clothes were this color. Anyone else in this household would have known that as well. Yes, I suppose they would. Hmm, smell bullshit then. Then the thread could have been planted by someone else to throw suspicion on my client. I think we can all see this thread is very questionable evidence. Oh, I guess, man, it seems very fucking likely. Oh, you're in the fucking cart, dude. I believe we've heard enough. Would the jury please pronounce their verdict? Not guilty. Hugh Dallas wins the case. Who would have thought? Very well, Anna Sinclair. You are hereby declared not guilty by the jury of your peers. You are free to go. That's right. Confetti up in this courthouse, baby. That's right. Fuck you, Amber Heard. Let's go. Why is she back in jail then? Let, let my girl out, dude. I can't believe such an incompetent fool as you managed to prove my innocence. Huh. You need to hold up your end of the bargain. Tell me how to get into the camera or I'll go back to the judge and tell him I have doubts about your innocence. You are demanding for a peasant. Wait. You are demanding for a peasant, aren't you? Walk around the edge of the camera towards the back of the castle. From the hedges, you should be able to see the garden temple. There's a statue back there. If you pull the arm, a secret entrance will appear. Go inside and it will take you straight into Camelot. What are you going to do? Aren't you coming with me? I have to sign some paperwork before I can leave here. Besides, the last thing I want to do is hang out with my family. I'm sure a clever boy like you can manage this on your own. Right. Okay. 
Oh, man. Just feels good. Feels good going into court and fucking laying down the law, you know? Man. <laughs> Hugh Dallas on the feet in the courthouse, man. Yeah. That's right. I'm basically like Johnny Depp's lawyers, dude. Just like fucking laying down the law, dude. Letting these guys know what's up. All right, let me get coffee. Let me get the, like some more coffee before we keep keep going. Okay. Here we go. <sighs> Sorry. All right. We got that car. All right. Search the statue. Pull that arm down, my man. Let's get in that castle. Okay. Ooh. You see, I told you that adventurer would turn up. He believed my every word. Oh, these swindlers, dude. Well done, sibling. I knew you managed to get a not guilty verdict, but to lure the Cretan here as well. What can I say? I'm impressed. Why, thank you. What are you going to do with him now? <laughs> I have an abyssal whip in my inventory, dude. You're not going to do shit. You, you planned this from the start. Where is King Arthur and his knights? I demand answers. Feisty one, isn't he? Easily duped as well. You didn't actually believe my siblings would help you, did you? Why, I oughta. Enough. I'm sick of having to listen to your drivel. Do you think she would want to see him? Most definitely. Have someone go and fetch her. Ooh, damn. Morgan Le Fay. I hear you have something of interest to me. Yes, my lady, the meddling adventurer who helped King Arthur in the past. I knew it. I knew Morgan Le Fay had to be involved. Where is King Arthur and his knights? What have you done with them? Oh, they are quite safe. You'll be seeing them soon. Although not Arthur. <laughs> He's a bit busy at the moment. I'll foil your plans, Morgan. Just like I always do. I won't let you win. Good always. I'm tired of this. Shut the fuck up, Hugh Dallas. Bam, dude, he, dude. She smacked you down in the fucking, in the jugular, dude. What the fuck? All right, Merlin. We're in jail, dude. Oh, dear. Did Morgan capture you, too? How does someone like Merlin get captured? Come on, dude. Or, no, I... It was all part of my brilliant plan. I allowed her to capture me so I could find out where she was keeping all of you. Yeah, is that so? Very clever. Now that you found us, what is your plan, oh, brilliant leader? Hey, uh, why do I have to do all the thinking here? You're the brilliant wizard. Well, all great plans start with knowledge. Let me bring you up to speed with the situation. What do you want to know? How about, how about what do we do now? So what's the plan of escape? Are you going to teleport us away, turn us into fish, and swim to sea? During the Battle of Camelot, Morgan cast a spell against me with the peers have stripped me of my powers. What? Dude, what a fucking loser. I must admit, the loss of my magic has left me befuddled, making it quite difficult to create a plan. Well, I'm sure if we put our heads together, we will think of something. Let's talk about a plan of escape. Escape is only a short-term plan. We should discuss the long-term goals as well. All right, how about we just... We're just going to search... Yeah, reach the vent. Yeah, they're just gonna reach the vent. Shut up, shut up. We don't have an, a ladder, uh, but we do have a lot of knights. Uh, hey guys, I have an idea that none of you have thought of until now. Now I, I realize there was a window. <laughs> All right, yeah, get get Merlin out of here. Got our little cheerleading pyramid going. All right. Uh, cool. Wee, 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 wee. Oh, here we go, dude. Crack this case. Damn, I, I don't know if I'll be able to figure this out. Do 
three, four, click, that locks open, dog. You thought you could stop me, dude? You thought you could stop Hugh Dallas? You can't stop Hugh Dallas. Dude, Sir Lancelot, dude. Oh, dude, they're in, they're in a deep battle here. Search the table and take the purple round box. The Holy Grail drops into your pack. Ooh, now I just need to get out of here and see the wizard comp perp tree. All right, fuck yeah, dude, fucking Hadogan. Here we go. And where are we gonna go? Uh. Oh, okay, yeah, north. Bing, bong. Dude, I, I, this guy gets talked to, like, so much, dude, like. Hello there, my name is Cromperty. I am a wizard and inventor. Yep, 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 we already know, dude. Wizard Cromperty, Merlin sent me. King Arthur has been kidnapped and turned into a granite statue. Why would he want to be a statue? He didn't want to be a statue. Morgan Le Fay turned him into one. Oh, yes, I see now. Why are you telling me all this? Merlin said you might know how to free King Arthur. Oh, well, uh. I do know, I, I don't know anything about rocks. That's bullshit. You helped me with something like that before. I'm a teleportation expert myself, but there was this one time I teleported a girl into a rock. What a mess that was. <laughs> yeah. Yes, wizard. Cromperty. I remember. I was there. Oh, were you? Of course you were. Well, I suppose being turned into a statue is very similar to being teleported into a rock. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, if my calculations are correct, this spell will need a bit more oomph than last time around. Why is that? Well, before you were simply reanimating the person within the rock, this time you need to unravel Morgan Le Fay's spell first. How do I do that? You'll need King Arthur's most prized possession. That will unravel Morgan's spell. Then you'll need a piece of granite, the same rock Arthur's turned into. That's not so difficult. I already have the Holy Grail, King Arthur's most prized possession, and I know he was turned into a granite statue. Let me just get that spell scroll for you. Oh, it looks like you still have the scroll I gave you. So what do I do with this spell? Take the scroll, the Holy Grail, and the piece of granite. Any amount will do to the statue of King Arthur. Once in front of him, read the scroll, and the magic should do the rest. Where is King Arthur being kept anyway? Merlin suspects King Arthur has been taken to the Black Knight's Fortress. The last time I was there, I needed to disguise myself in bronze man helm and an iron chain, but I just get past the door. Well, that should still get you into the fortress, but I imagine you'll need a better disguise than that to reach King Arthur. He's a very important person and will be guarded by the Black Knights. Don't underestimate them. Thank you, wizard. Hmm, I wonder... If you used a magical object that turned you into stone at the statue, would it turn him back into a human? I must research this. Oh, are you still here? Go on then. You're, yeah, just get, get the fuck out of here, dude. All right, my bad. Bronze Medhelm. Got that uh, chain body. Uh, black Fullhelm. Oh, no, no. What the fuck? Hugh Dallas. Ooh, my dude. What's up? Yeah, I'll help you with a pheasant, dude. Let's get, let's get another piece of uh, gear here. Three tails. Hadoken. There we go. Now bring me the raw pheasant. Here you go, brother. What if I just stayed here forever? Hugh Dallas just like that, that, that's that's my uh What the fuck? You didn't give me a He gave me money. I must have all the uh, all the leader hose and stuff. Or I or I did it wrong. I, I thought I had three tails. Okay, so yep, Edgeville teleport right on. Here, uh, yeah. Oh fuck, I don't have the scroll. If you don't have one, you can get another from Wizard Copper in order to do the quest. Oh fuck. <sighs> Alright. I already fucked up. Let me go back to Edgeville now. I 
Do I even still have it though, dude? I don't even think I might have destroyed it. But he said I still have it, so let's see. Yeah, I do. There we go. Now we're ready. Bee boo ba bee ba boo boo. There we go. Alright, we're ready. I'm ready for this. Will this actually get me a defense level? No, not even close. I didn't know if I had any defense experience in there, but that'll help a little bit. It's fine. I'm not really working on defense anyway at the moment. Okay. I got you, dog. Coming for you, King Arthur. I will rescue you. Okay, just like uh no 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 nope. Just open the door. There we go. I can't open the door. Okay, sorry. Oh it's it, it is the entrance over here. My bad, my bad. Sturdy door. There we go. Yep, push the wall. What? Oh, my bad, dude. My bad, my bad. I'm one of you. One of you. I'm one of you. It's all good. It's all good. I'm one of you guys. Hang on just one second. Alright, free King Arthur by using the animated rock scroll. Use that on my dude right here. Free him. Free my guy. There he is. Nice, dude. Thank you. I was afraid that would be the end of me. It's no trouble, but we need to get you out of here quickly before any of the Black Knights suspect something. The Black Knights? I thought Morgan did this to me. There's no time to explain. Here, take this disguise. Very well. You first, uh, you leave first and I'll sneak out the, a few minutes. Meet me back at Camelot and I shall reward you generously for your aid. Cool, thanks. Let's finish the quest. Alright, let's go to fucking Camelot, baby. Skadoo! Alright. Let me put on my, my Hugh Dallas gear. I don't need to wear that stuff anymore. Alright, King Arthur. I see you made it back safely. Indeed, thanks for the thank, thanks to the disguise you gave me. I arrived back just as Merlin had kicked out the Sinclair children. He scared them off with a few puffs of smoke and frogs. He told them if any of them left the house, again, he'd turn them into rabbits. I guess we won't be hearing a peep out of them for a while. Indeed. We at the round table are greatly indebted for you for all your help. I wish to reward you for all the help you have given us. Let's go. Awesome. Damn it. I was hoping I could put it into to Hunter. I just want to keep putting shit into Hunter and like never stop putting stuff into Hunter. But, we're going to put that on agility because fuck, man. Yeah. Yes. Sweet, dude. That's really good. Alright. Man, we're getting there. Alright, let's fucking pick another one, shall we? A kingdom divided, maybe? Oh, wow. Holy fuck. I, I have nothing completed for this. Wow. 
Must be a good one. Land of the Goblins. This sounds like a cool one. Uh, I have to go to Dorgishin for that. Meh. Monkey Madness 2. Damn, 60 Hunter, huh? Mountain's Daughter, Morning and... Oh, can I even do Morning's End Part 1? Roving Elves. Let's see. I know that's a good one. Can I even do this yet? Yeah, I can do Roving Elves. Hmm. That wouldn't be a bad one. Sheep Herder seems like it would be like a really quick quest to do. Tower of Life. You know, let's do Tower of Life because like, I have all these completed right here, and I, I just I like to I don't like to see the gap. Let's do Tower of Life. Okay. Dude, just everything's in Ardoin, dude. Everything. Alright, so just go through the yeah, just go through the the um the zoo. Q Dallas. Beer hammer and saw. Fuck hey, let me go to the the bank here. You know, f uh, what am I doing? I'll I'll just I'll just put it in the bank. I just read what you sent me, baby. No, I, yeah. It's uh, not surprising in the least. No, absolutely. There's something in that bill. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's just, it's baffling, man. Yeah. Whatever. We can't do shit. Yeah, we just, we just, we don't we just don't have the money for it. That's all. Jesus. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Now we just need a beer. Do I, maybe I maybe have a beer in here. I do have a beer in here. Let's go. All right. So we are ready to go then. What's up, fam? Hi, interesting building you have here. What's it for? You like it? It's simply fabulous, isn't it? A real marvel of modern design made just for my fellow alchemists and I. I see some builders over there, so I assume it's not yet finished. What a keen eye this chap has, but imagine this. A gargantuan cylinder of expert design incorporating an inventive inner spiral walkway to multiple planes of wondrous inhabitants. So it's a tower. Oh, no, 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 
It's going to have a use that will change this world. Or at least it would if we could ever get it finished. See those builders? They don't seem to be building much. Exactly. They've gone on strike for some petty reason about the tower being too weird. I really can't understand those men. Shame. Hey, maybe you could talk to them. You look like a sturdy chap. Maybe you could finish the work. Me? Come on, this is a chance of a lifetime. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Sure or not, I love working for free. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm so pleased. Calm down. I'm not making any promises. Oh, I, ha I have a good feeling about this. Right. Uh, go have a word with Bonafido, the head builder. See if you can't get him off his backside to do some work. Oh, and I'm Effigy, by the way. Nice to meet you, Effigy. I'm Hugh Dallas. Hold on, and I'll see what I can do. Wait a minute. Don't I recognize you from somewhere? <laughs> probably. Probably. Uh, do you know the outpost north of Ardoin? Ah, uh, yes. It's a small museum. Jorl's looking after it. He's really making history of that place. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Making history. Well, the king was going to make that into an alchemy lab for us, but some fool ruined our plans. Ah, uh, yes. Shame. Go, go to it. Bye. Hey, wait up. Uh, best I go sort out this tower. Bye. Punk-ass bitch, dude. That's a historical land site. Are you Bonafido by chance? Look at my dude just fucking chilling hard. I respect it. That I am, mate. How, how can I be of assistance? Well, I've just spoken with Effigy about this tower. He tells me he hired you to work, but you're on strike. Something about extended tea break. Uh, extended cup of char. Oh, God. He's got it all wrong, mate. We know those alchem alkawatsis are up to something. Weird in building this tower. What with all the machinery and until we get some answers, we're not moving a muscle. Well, he wanted me to do something about it. Is there no way I can convince you to continue? Sorry, mate. Well, I can at least have a look inside the tower. Only builders are allowed in there. Like, you don't look much of a builder to me. Take offense to that. Give me a chance. You'll be surprised. Okay, come to my kit. Come to me kitted out like a builder. Hard hat, some boots. Scruffy trousers and shirt, and I'll let you... Whatever. What? The fuck? It didn't, didn't say that. Oh, okay, okay. Get the hard hat from Black Eye. Say, that's a nice helmet. Why, thank you. I was just wondering if you might be able to help me with, out with one. Always glad to help a, builder, a budding builder. But first, prove your construction knowledge by answering some questions. How many nails does it take to make a rocking chair? Fucking three, dude. Quick. Bingo. Okay, now. What takes three planks... Three cloths, three nails to make. It helps move light from a room. Torn curtains, dude. Come on. Nice. Last question. I like fish. And I want to put some in my garden, but I need a special water feature. What materials would I require? Ten clay pieces. That's it. You seem to know your stuff. I got a spare helmet. Let me put this way. Uh, a spare helmet from a builder that died on... I mean, uh... Had to leave the job for greener pastures. Fair enough. Okay. Wait a minute, is there blood on this helmet? Uh, no, that's just, uh, paint. Yeah, that's all good, bro. Alright, peace. Gullible fool. Fuck you, black eye. Stupid bitch. No fingers. Hello, I was just wondering, I don't suppose you have any spare clothing you can lend me? I do have many boots. Okay, thanks. But there's no way I'm gonna give you any of them. But why? I could pay you. Nope, only real builders can wear boots. And you're not even close. Okay, fine. You're all fucking pit pocket, your bitch ass. Give me those fucking boots that you've got in your pocket. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. We'll get that. We'll get it. Don't you worry. Hey, let me put this hard hat on. Maybe then you'll you'll think I'm cool. Yep, I stole those boots right out of your fucking pocket, dude. Talk to guns. The guns. Hey, I'm looking for some kit to look like one of you guys. Anything you might be able to help me out with? Well, ugh. You can have my shirt. I don't need it because I'm so fucking ripped. Has been clean. I don't want some sweaty hand-me-down. What? I ain't even... I ain't ever been worn. Well, that sounds good. Can I have it then? Can't... Ugh, see why not. This is feisty work, though. Could do with a beer. Got you, bro. Yeah, I got it. There we go. Sick, dude. I've got that shirt now. To Dallas! Search the bushes to the south for some builder trousers. Try the southeast bushes first. Okay. Do 
Dude, if somebody like left their trousers in a bush, it's probably because they shit themselves and like my dude's just looking through the bushes for it. And that's just facts. Is there like another bush that I'm not... Oh, of course, yeah. Got those trousers, dog. Let's go. I'm a builder now. I'm fucking Bob the Builder. Skinny bones. How do I look? Like a builder. Good job, mate. It's time to test your skills. What do you want me to build? Build? Huh. Don't be a plonka. It's not building skills that makes a true builder. You got to have the right mental attitude, yeah? Let me see. You have plenty of work to do, but you need a drink for you but you need a drink fast. Okay. Yeah, give me tea, I guess. Bingo. Ain't nothing better. Now let's hear you whistle. Okay. Okay. This isn't even worth narrating. This is stupid. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you do if you cut your finger? Fucking carry on. It'll fix itself. That's right, dude. Fucking, yep. Alright, yeah. I'm done talking to you forever, hopefully. Inside. Wow, this place looks special. Best I look around for something to fix. Search that crate. go. All right, let's go upstairs. Uh, build the pressure machine. Okay. Yep, I got it. Yep. Construct. You Dallas. Let's go. Uh, the pressure seems to be affected by holes in the pipes. Perhaps you can block them with the balls. Thank you, Runelight, for making this experience so much easier. I really appreciate that. There it is. You're welcome, everybody. Your boy did it. Your boy did it first. Search crate for four pipes, okay. Keep 
keep searching that, dude. Get those pipes. <clears throat> Oh, no, 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 we don't need to do that. Stop searching. A oh, pipe rings. I was like, I, I, th I do need five pipes so to pick that back up. Okay, six rivets. These have to stack. Yeah, they stack. Not that it matters, but. All right, <clears throat> let's fix this up. Let's go. Tower of life up in this bitch. Let's go. Yeah, 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 calibrate. What the fuck? Okay, uh, yeah, we got this. It's kind of like it just like lines up for you, huh? Oh, okay, this one goes down. There she blows, baby. Let's go. Oh, fuck off. No, 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 no. Don't make me redo this again, please. Okay, good. I was about to be like, fuck. There it is. That's it. This whole place is fucking working exactly how it's supposed to. Thanks to Hugh Dallas. Come on, man. I still need this shit. I didn't find anything interesting. The fuck, man? There we go. Kudos is not good at finding stuff in boxes, apparently.
Yeah. Dude, thank God for Moonlight. The fuck? I don't even know what's happening right now. Okay, I kind of get it, I guess. Yep, horizontal. Yep, we want a bigger piece than that. Put that right there. We want a vertical piece for the bottom right one. A little bit bigger, though. There we go. Place that shit. Same deal. Horizontal. Yep, just that one piece will do. Same thing. Horizontal. Just same size. Yep. We got it. We could have we could have done this without ruin light. We're we're smart. Okay, just complete. Let's go. Let's go tell Effigy what's up. Tower of life completed, man. It's Alchemy City over here. Fix all the machinery. Hurrah! Splendiferous. Now listen, what does this all do? Why are you... Years of devoted work, it's completed. Hey guys, it's finished. At last, our work is complete. You can almost taste the riches. To the top of the tower, fellow alchemists. Wait, what about... Oh, dude, they're about to, they're about to do some fuck shit here. Follow the alchemists. Let's know we listen. Best to follow them, I suppose. What? I did not. No, I don't. How did I do that? It's the kitty. They go under there. Gunter fucking does... He does mysterious things. I, how would I have done that? Yeah, you don't even know, but you're blaming me. Oh, well. Your what? Uh, it is time, my friends. The culmination of our work is complete. Long time indeed. Many hours we have worked. A great many years of planning and preparation has brought us here, my fellow alchemists. Now we have the Tower of Life. We can already create gold. We can already transform matter from one thing to the other. And now we have the ability to create life itself. We owe much to the power of Guthix. That's right. For without the life essence he left below ground, we would never have been able to bring this tower alive. They're insane. It begins the first day of creation. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. What the fuck is that? Marvelous. How is this possible? It's alive. We did it. A homunculus. Beautiful. Oh, he's going to do some shit. Why? Where? Me? God, I can't. It can talk. A real success. Where? Me? Skin burn. Eyes hurt. Let me go. Excellent. It can feel. It's self-aware. This is really a great day. Please help me. Oh, dude. This is terrible. You must do something. Ah, it's our helper. Thank you for fixing the tower. We will reward you greatly. I don't want a reward. Just let it go. Can you see it's in pain? Don't worry. It has no soul. It has no worth. What? Create, you create hurt, not fair. Let me free. Oh, come on, Hugh Dallas. Don't let this happen. Shut up, you pathetic being. Let me go. Don't make us hurt you. Ooh, stop this. Let it go. So horrible things, Dar. It's getting angry. You should know your place, adventurer. This is no concern of yours now. You should be satisfied and leave. Then we can begin our experiments. Not wise. Come on. Let's go. Get out of the tower before it's too late. Run away. That's right, dude. Fucking. Damn. Bitches. Fuck. 
fucking effigy, dude. What a, what a piece of shit. Effigy. I know, I know. This is a truly dangerous creation of all proportions. I hope you learn from this. I will, I will. Next time I will use a stronger cage. A bad joke. Just ignore that. So what about the homunculus up there? You can't just leave it. Maybe you could go have a talk with it? Why me? You created it. Please? Jesus. Pretty please with a cherry on top? No. I'll make sure you're competent. You won't be forgotten for this. Why do I get the feeling I'm doomed to go face that creature on my own? Good lad. I knew you would help us out. Oh well, my mom did always tell me experience uh, teaches fools. So let's go upstairs. Let me see. Logic, feel magic, a mix of the two. Creature created logic and magic. Don't fear, I shall fix your mind. No, no so sure, easy to do. No one can help. Okay, watch me. Uh, you must now make sense of the homunculus's mind. Force him to either follow the line of logic or the line of magic. Okay, like, what the fuck? <laughs> what do I gotta click on here? You tell me that you're confused, so ask me some questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Nails and the peaches. Yep, 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 yep. Potions, stuff. Yep, it all makes sense now. Thank you. I decided to root for magic. No, it does matter what you choose. We needed to organize my thoughts. I see there is truth in both. Now we go scare alchemies. They have been wrong to do this. Although I have life, they mustn't go about this again. Sounds like a good plan. Can you get out of that cage? Easy. You run down and I watch from here. I surprise right moment. Okay, cool. I like it. I like it. I need a word with you. You've killed it? Not quite. Boo, my dude, homunculus. Have mercy. You set it free, oh please don't hurt me. Ha <laughs> ha. Me not hurt, now tell. What your plans, what you do with me. Please, we just wanted to experiment, we wanted to create life. There's a dungeon under the tower, long ago we found a strange sort of energy that we believe we was left behind by the great Gothics. Used to create life with such ease, we realized we should be able to use this power, powerful substance, but we needed to bring together our magic along with the logical construction of the builders. It seemed, through our experiments, that even magic needs a certain level of rules and laws to work. Bad play with. Naughty men. Go, go. Never return. Right away. Right away. That's right, bitch. Me look, Dungeon Hugh Dallas. Please meet there. Let's go. Hugh Dallas. Let's go. Hello, Gunter. Hello, kitty boy. Damn, what the fuck? This place bar. Me do know. Please do rescue. My pleasure. So what is this place? They use the essence of Gothic's power. Create tower pump from the ground. Make me with godly power. Dangerous. Uh, thank you for reward. You speak me. I make monsters. Okay. 
What does that do? Create creature creation access. What the fuck is that? That's weird. I don't even know what the fuck it does. Whatever. The Temple of the Eye. Gunter, what are you doing, little boy? What are you giving? What are you giving the tea hug for? It's not time. It's not time yet. Poopa. Little wiggly boy. You purring. Here's your little boy. Oh, there's all the birds. Here you go. You can go look at the birds. He likes the birds. <coughs> okay. It's enough questing for me today. I uh, just wanted to get back into the, the swing of things, honestly. Because uh, it's been a while since we streamed. So anybody who popped in, appreciate it. Uh, we'll definitely try and stream some more and get some more videos out there. I uh, got some stuff in the works. And hopefully I can uh, can pump out a, a, a cool video for everybody. But um, yeah, we're, we're back in the groove. Uh, but uh, I, got, I got some stuff coming up. I'm a little busy. I'm moving soon. So that's going to kind of get in the way of streaming a little bit. I don't even know if I'll be able to stream... Uh, once I do move, based on where I'm going, so I might just be making videos from there, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, that's it for me today, guys. Appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.